Hello all you lucky Intel GMA, Intel HD, Integrated Graphics owners. I have a fantastic surprise for you. This is Borderlands 2 running at an amazing 340, no, yes, 320 even, by 240 resolution. It's the only way this game is actually playable. So here we are. I've been playing for a while on a better PC, mind you, but here I am on this uh, Intel laptop. As you can see, everything looks absolutely fucking terrible, but it is completely playable. Frame rates of about 30 to 50 FPS. Um, literally, what you see here is what you're going to see in the game. <laughs> when it's on a TV, it's a little better, but. Yeah. Um, I've modded the INI file in the config to turn on resolution, turn off shadows completely, as well as fog, blue, everything. It even forces textures off. You see later on that when I walk up to a wall, the textures turn up for a brief second and turn down. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> This game would be a bit more playable if there wasn't so much kind of like cell shaded or uh, graphics surrounding all the um, all the textures themselves. But um, yeah, and there's no problem playing like two, three, four players, whatever. Um, there's nothing wrong with aiming, shooting. Well, as you can see. I'm actually looking down the sight on this gun. The uh, the uh, this was supposed to be like a red sort of circular crosshair. That's it there. You can barely see it, but oh, there you go. That's just pretty much shows what resolutions is at. Somebody's playing online, and it pretty much covers half my fucking screen. So I would suggest that you turn off the Steam overlay if you ever ever decide. To buy this game or play this game with an Intel. Oh yeah, and here's another one. Even 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 the text goes to scale, so you can see it down below. <laughs> Instead of everything going up on one line, it's like three words or four words per line. It's, it's funny. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know what was going on there. Spoo. And I missed, of course. I wanted to see how the grenade done here as well. And uh, left no marks on the ground. <laughs> as you can see, there's no decals left from bodies. Nothing whatsoever. And yeah. I'm pretty amazed how well how scalable this game is, but at the same time, it's based on the, the Unreal Engine, so which is pretty scalable in itself. And of course, I'm fucking terrible with the sniper. <laughs> well, I'm not bad on a better computer, but for this one, it's kind of hard to see where the actual body is because they just look like pixels from far. So, <laughs> imagine playing without the fucking sniper. <laughs> Simple as that. Now here you're gonna see the um, textures change. Let's see now, one second. Um, for anybody who actually is interested in trying this, I'll um, put a link um, in the description how to use this config um, in the, the video description later on. Um, yeah. <laughs> just, it's just, I'm just going to turn to the rock now in a minute, I think. I'm missing every single fucking shot, as usual. And yeah, I kill a few of these before I actually want to look at the rocks. Boom! I'm terrible, and then I throw a throw grenade too fucking close to the fucking skull. Uh, yeah, I finally get out my rifle just to finish everything off so I can destroy the textures here. 
And I am missing every single fucking shot, of course. There you go. You just saw it right there. So when I turn around, there you go. <laughs> Texture is turn itself up and then it's forced back down again. <laughs> there you go again. <laughs> yeah. I tried to do it a few times, but I think you have to be a certain distance away. There, there you go again. So yeah. <laughs> Anybody want to give it a go? Give it a go. Um, but <laughs> I never really recommend playing it like this. It's just... Uh, 